see now we'll see some more problems on plane rotation method we'll start from the first problem a straight line has its midpoint 45 mm from both hp and ep true length 80 mm so true length is equal to 80 and top view makes that means beta is equal to 30 degree and front view makes that is alpha is equal to 45 degree draw the projection assuming line to be is third quadrant that means m dash is 45 mm below third quadrant right m is 45 mm above x y line this is third quadrant so we will try to solve the problem so first we will draw the x y line then mark m dash and m m 45 m dash m 45 mm above x y line and m dash 45 mm below x y line so we have used to these two now alpha is 45 degree that means from here you have to draw take 45 degree and draw a line so take 45 degree and draw a line and friend will be on that line and from here take 30 degree and draw a line and your top view will be on that line so this will be 30 and this will be 45 degree now uh, this will be front view line and top view line so based on a dash b dash h dash v t dash will be on same line a b v h t will be on same line see this is your a dash b dash line so if we project it it will touch here at h dash and you have to project and obtain the front view right so you have to project like this so project and this will be your ht similarly this will be your v in order to find v dash you have to extend it now here this will be your vt dash so we have obtained h dash ht vt dash and v so uh, this is already you know right that's why I am going quickly. Now, uh, on plane rotation method, you know that if you want to locate a point, draw a perpendicular from that point, take the distance of the corresponding point in opposite view to x, y line, right? So, if you start from M, draw a perpendicular from M, then take distance of M dash to x, y line and mark it on it in order to obtain the midpoint on true length. So, first you start here. So, draw a perpendicular from M. Then take this distance right it is m dash to x y line take the distance from m dash to x y line and cut it there so that will be your capital so actually this will be true length line we don't know actually how the true length line is behaving this will be your top view line right so here a b and its corresponding true length will meet at h t so this is your a b line and this corresponding true length line passing through m should meet at where ht so you can join ht and m that will be your true length line right so that means true length and corresponding top view should meet at ht so ht we already know so you can join ht and m that will be your true length line now true length they have given in the question as 80 mm so what you can do this is the midpoint of true length it, this is the midpoint of true length so from there on scale mark 40 mm so or compass take you take 40 mm on compass so you have to take 40 mm on compass and you have to cut it towards the both ends right so and taking 40 mm towards both ends these two are 40 mm each and this will be your a1 b1 now how to find the a dash and b dash so actually what you are doing is if you know a dash you will draw perpendicular and you will it will touch at h dash right so uh, f actually this is not perpendicular this is perpendicular so what you can do do place your roller scale here roller scale here and if you move it means that is parallel right it is parallel and draw a line here similarly place your roller scale here and move it parallel in order to obtain like this now see if this is perpendicular then parallel line this will be perpendicular this will be also perpendicular and this point will be your a dash this point will be your b dash and by joining you will get a here and here you will get b and this will be the inclination with respect to ht means that is theta 
you know to find phi what you have to do draw a perpendicular from ba take distance of a dash a dash to x y line only that will be your a to now sorry this is your so this is your a and b right this is your a and b sorry this is your a and b and this will be your a dash and b dash this will be your a dash b dash so draw a perpendicular from a dash now take distance of a to x y line and cut it here you will get a to similarly draw a perpendicular from b dash never take distance from b to x y line only instead we know that true length and a dash b dash and its corresponding true length will meet at v t dash so from v t dash passing through a draw a line it will meet here that will be your b2 right so the question is very simple now 17th question the distance between the distance between ht and vt of a line measured parallel to xy line is 30 m right distance between ht and vt of a line measured parallel to xy line is so distance between ht and vt measured parallel to xy line that is h h h dash ht and v vt dash distance is 30 mm now what do they have given angle in front view alpha is equal to 30 degree beta is equal to 40 degree lowest point of the line is 10 mm above chi so let p be the lowest point means 10 p dash is equal to 10 above xy line and farthest point if p is the lowest point means q will be the farthest point farthest point is 50 mm in front that is q on q is 50 mm below x y not q dash the projectors of end points are to the right of traces so projectors of end points are to the right what it is you will see while drawing the problem so distance between this is a data given you know what you are going to do is we will start the problem now i'll draw x y line so we have drawn x y line now see we'll start from p dash p dash 10 mm above x y line p dash is 10 mm above x y line and q is 50 mm below x y line we don't know where it is so i'll draw locus of locus of q this distance will be actually 50 mm right this distance will be actually 50 mm now they have given alpha is equal to 30 degree right so alpha is given as 30 degree so from here we will take 30 degree and draw a line from here we will take 30 degree and draw a line and on that line we will get the front view right alpha they have given and if we that is front view means if we extend here this will be your h dash right this will be your h dash and now they have given so i will a bit of i will start from here we, we have some problem here why because the end points are to the right so i will start from here so i have to include one more thing i will start from here only in order to complete that so i need some portion on i need some portion on left side so x y is here same i will project now p dash we have already drawn and the locus of q you have already drawn this will be your locus of q and taking 30 degree taking 30 degree you have drawn a line which is front view line and extending it to here you will get h dash right now they have given h dash distance between ht and vt right the projection between h dash ht and v vt dash will be 30 mm so the projectors of end points are to the right side of traces project of end points so if q dash we are drawing here see if you q if you are q if your p dash is here means q dash should be towards the right and h dash and ht towards the left right the traces should be to the left of p dash and q dash hmm? that is given in the this line so what you have to do is 
distance between the end projectors means that you have to draw towards the left side i am extending this line to here so take 30 mm and this line will be representing v and vt dash now we have already obtained v now if we are extending like this this will be your vt dash right now they have given beta is equal to 40 degree beta means inclination with the stop view so a b v h t will be same line so if you can measure that uh, 40 degree from a b v or h t will be same right on the same line see this inclination and this inclination will be same 30 degree itself so from v itself what you can do is you can draw a line from v itself you can draw a line taking how much degree 40 degree so this will be your ht dash and this will be your q right in order to find p extend it here this will be your p in order to find q this will be q dash i will stop here now what you have to do you already know or i will just explain for one more question draw perpendicular from p dash take p to x y line on it and that will be your capital p now perpendicular from q uh, and q dash to x y line you have to mark it and uh, p dash q dash and its corresponding true length will mean that where v t dash so if draw a perpendicular no need to mark it here instead uh, from v t dash draw a line passing through see it will touch here this will be your q similarly draw a perpendicular from p mark p dash to x y line ot draw a perpendicular from c why i am drawing in the same direction because there is no neither of the friendly or top is crossing the x y line so we can draw in the same direction from there from h t passing through p here cut it here so uh, why i am doing this see if you draw a line perpendicular to p and mark the distance p dash to x y line and you can draw a perpendicular from q and you can take this distance and cut it here but the problem is if something has got wrong while drawing it what you means if you try to join it it will not touch HT dash so that will make a problem to your drawing so it is uh, while uh, solving in examination it will be better that you draw a perpendicular from P and take this distance and then from HT dash join this one and draw a perpendicular from Q dash so if some uh, means if uh, these two distances are uh, some 1 mm difference means uh, it won't be a wrong means uh, due to your parallel and perpendicular lines that you can understand it. but if it is not touching t dash means directly uh, while viewing the answer we can say that it is wrong so try to solve like this now 18 question right the projectors to trace of a line are uh, the projectors to traces of a line are 120 mm apart right projectors through the traces of a line are 120 that means ht vt dash distance is 120 and those through end of line pqr that is p p dash and q q dash are 60 mm apart and end they have told that the end p of the line is 15 mm above hp and p of the line is 15 mm above hp that will directly draw and p will start from there x y line and p is 15 mm above right and p is 15 mm above p dash and then front view and top view of line make 40 degree and 30 degree that is front view alpha is equal to 40 beta is equal to 30 degree alpha is given 40 degree so from here take 40 degree draw a line that will be your front view if you try to join it this will be your h dash that will be your h dash now they have told that h t and h v t dash are 120 mm apart so this is h this is h t line from here take 120 distance parallel to x y line take 120 mm and draw a line this will be your v and v t dash will be on that line so beta is they have given beta is equal to 30 line always see we, have, we already always will be solving like this p dash q dash 
H dash V T dash based on this same principle P Q V H T right. So this V we have already obtained. Now uh, V V T dash will be on this projection. Right? We don't know where V T dash is. That you can find how project it project this line. Sorry, project it line. It will meet somewhere. That will be a V T dash. Now uh, see. P Q V H T line is starting from here, so that angle of that line is given. That is beta. Beta is equal to 30 degrees. So from V draw a line taking 30 degree, right? Here itself. I'm going to draw here itself 30 degree that you can take towards any axis. So I'm going here, take 30 degree and draw a line. This will be your H T dash, right? H dash H T dash. You know what you can do? You have to mark P dash here, extending it, you will get P here. So P and P dash here also, and P Q V T. And one more thing is P distance between P P dash and Q Q dash is what 60 mm. So take 60 mm towards right, draw a projection line. So this will be P dash Q dash, and this will be P Q. Now, what you have to do, draw per projection line, perpendicular lines, and find the two lines. I am not doing, going to do before that. That's very simple, right. After obtaining P dash, Q dash and P Q, same thing, you have to draw P dash and Q dash, draw perpendiculars from P and Q and uh, opposite to you, from opposite, distance from opposite to you, mark on it and you will obtain the true length. In such a way that P dash, Q dash and its true length will meet at V T dash, so this is H T. P Q and its corresponding true length will meet at H T. So, we will see the last question. Now, the projection on the xy line of the horizontal and vertical trace of a straight line AB is in first quadrant are 120 mm apart and the vertical trace is 100 mm above and the horizontal trace is 50 mm in front. So, we will start from vertical trace and horizontal trace and vertical trace. So, xy line we have drawn. So, if there is a vertical trace is 100 mm above HP. So, I will start from vertical trace somewhere here. So, vertical trace means that is Vt dash 100 mm above xy line and horizontal trace 50 mm in front. So, also projectors on xy line of horizontal vertical traces are 120. So, take from here measure 120 mm, 120 mm and draw a line that will be, so this will be your V, this will be your H and they have given HT is 50 mm in front that means this will be H T. Now, the points A and B are 30 mm and 80 mm above x y line. Points play the, see, now you know that A dash, so here A B, A dash, B dash, this will be H dash, H dash, V T dash will be on same projection line. So, draw H dash and V T dash. Similarly, A B V H T will be on same projection line, join A V and H T. They have told A and B are 30 mm and 80 mm above H P. So, from here, draw take 30 mm and draw the locus of a this will be a dash similarly this is 30 right similarly take what 30 mm and 80 mm above so take 80 mm draw locus of that is we have drawn locus of a a dash and locus of b dash so this will be your b dash a dash and b dash you have already obtained so projection line you draw to this you will get a and b and completing is you know perpendicular see draw a perpendicular from a dash take a to x y mark a to x y line on it that will be capital a1 now draw perpendicular from b dash uh, no need to take this distance from v t dash join a1 and draw this perpendicular this will be your b1 similarly draw a perpendicular from b then take a dash to x y line that will be a2 or anything now draw a perpendicular from b dash no need to take distance instead join ht from ht passing through a dash join here that will be so tool and you have to measure the angles and complete this thank you uh, we will see some special problems some three to four special problems on the next videos